Coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Tony Ferguson. Well, with respect to Justin Gaethje and anyone else you want to throw in the mix, this is about as watchable a fighter as we have on the UFC roster, the former interim lightweight champion, El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson is just nasty from the elbows that he lands on the feet to on the back, the submission ability that he possesses. One of the most diverse strikers in the UFC. And with a college wrestling background, every time you step foot in the octagon with Ferguson, you know that you have your hands and there's some fighters who just don't like training, right? Frank Mir would always say, I don't like to train. <laughs> Tony Ferguson loves to train. He'll go five or six hours hard. That's great. And from a work ethic standpoint, few guys are going to be able to match that. Fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. When they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with bears? <laughs> so strong, he's so physical in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov strike. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me right. down, but Just it's okay. Sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Nurmagomedov is 31, Ferguson is 36. He will have a six inch reach advantage. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's an easy first. Fighting! Blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 26 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this one. Ready. All right, so here we go, round one, Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Tony Ferguson. I remember after Tony Ferguson beat Edson Barboza. That's the first time they tried to put this fight together more than five years ago. They have locked the door. Oh, big knee! Ooh, diving punch lands. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He got him bad! All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. 
Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his, he got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Oh, nice. Well, he's got one hand in, one hand out. Now you're looking for defensively. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Marco Maddox back in half. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. And he's out. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nice hammer fist. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nermont. Shot a double leg. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. So there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and often. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of a nice takedown game. by Ferguson. Looks like he's trying for submission now. Oh, wow, oh! And he's out. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. 
Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over. Oh, you got to watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Oh! goes into the ladder rounds. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the form. That means the round is over. We nearly had a finish due to a submission, but I think you got to give credit to both the offense and the defense. There. Yeah, you got to give credit to both guys. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat. All weight to his opponent. All right, here we go. Our next round is underway. And you know our stat guys don't like to give a lot of credit for the submission attempts, but we saw myriad attempts on both sides. Multiple attempts by both fighters as they try to reach the fight. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Nice punch there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown, no cross. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Ferguson. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. So unofficially, six feet three total strikes now landed for Tony Ferguson. Landing with 80% accuracy. Oh, she's the try. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. And he's out. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Plus right hand is true. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning. The position of the underhook it opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, close guard now. His opponent better react right now before it's too late. He's going to start to attack the triangle choke. Oh, nice. And he's out. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Nurmago Medov's back in half goal. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Ferguson. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Ferguson's going for the arm submission. Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Ferguson. Oh, 
right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Liver Combination kick. for Ferguson is good. Nice offering there by Tony Ferguson. Kind of hard to know what's coming. Just a master at creating angles and finding the target. Yeah, he just confuses you, right? Tony is a guy that will confuse you inside the octagon. When you think you have a beat on what he's doing, he switches it up and hits you with something totally unexpected. Beautiful takedown land. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Oh, he's got one hand in, one hand out. Now you're looking for defensively. He'll start to pull down on the head, and you'll have no choice but to tap. Brilliant submission defense there. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear chokes in this. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Now he's going to attack a triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. All right, so he postures up. Nicely done. To his mouth. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. And he landed the right hand there. Defense there, huge block for him. Great match. Oh, beautiful Great entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Now it's time to try it. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I know Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Oh, wow. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. Oh, he's throwing so many left jabs. To throw that right punch right down the pipe. It's unreal. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable striking. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Oh, landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Lost 
measuring up now, and he's out. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Tony Ferguson. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Ferguson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Watch right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Well, he's got his back now. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Right there from the bottom, nicely done by Ferguson. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't you see got that very often. But now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Well, he's got one hand in, one hand out. Now you're looking for defensively. And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out. Just go for the finish. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the strike. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 49-46, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Khabib the Eagle, Urbano Mera. All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. You should be very proud of